So Bill, what you gonna show us today? Well, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the uh, HDS units and a little bit about the structure scan and how you can use those units to mark fish and turn around and go back to fish. Uh, we're out here trolling. We're using the HDS-10. Uh, we're using the Navionics charts in there and I've got the safety contour set. That's why you're seeing the blue and the shallower water. I've got it set right now for 60 feet. Um, and everything that's 60 feet or shallower is going to be in one of two shades of blue. Everything that's deeper than uh, 60 feet is going to be uh, predominantly in white. And it looks a little bit gray because I got the shading turned on. We are marking some fish out here. Uh, there, 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 there definitely are some fish. Uh, we've got a couple of down rods down. I say down rods. They're on um, downrigger balls. And we've got, we've got those down about 30 feet, uh, trying to stay out of the trees. And then we've got a couple of lead core lines out here. And the lead core, um, we've got Captain Max jigs on them with uh, Shadalicious and uh, Tsunami baits. Um, we've got a pulse jig out because the pulse jigs have been working really good. But we found some fish in here and they're all in the trees. And uh, as you can see from the structure scan, w what we have is I've got my down scan on auto range. Uh, and right now it's on 140 foot scale. Uh, that means that, you know, I'm, I can see down to 140 and that's because we're in 109 feet of water and that's the, the nearest scale that it's going to go to. And then I got my structure scan looking left and right and I've got that on 180 feet and I've got that one fixed. I've got it on the 455 kilohertz and the reason why I have it on the 455 kilohertz is because that's what you would want to use in uh, 100 feet or more. Uh, so anytime I'm around 100 feet I'm typically going to be running that in, um, in the 455 kilohertz. If I were shallower I'd be running the 800 kilohertz. Uh, on the HDS8 and the HDS10 you can see that I've got my pop-up screens at the bottom of the unit. A uh, little trick that most people don't know, you can make those go away just by pressing and holding the exit button. Voila, they just disappeared. I got a little bit more screen. Now you can still see what my Sirius uh, radio channel is on. Um, and that's because there's a little glitch in 3.5 which just came out a couple of weeks ago that if I go in to try to kill that, my unit um, uh, reboots. Uh, and that's going to be fixed in the next update. Uh, as you can imagine, anytime you go and do uh, a new software program as complex as what it takes to run the HDS and structure scan and radar and all those other things, there are some challenges with doing it and you don't get everything working just exactly right when you'd like to have it working exactly right. But the cool thing about the Lowrance product line is that with the, um, with the addition of a little SD card like this, all I have to do is go to Lowrance.com, download the newest software which is on here stick it into my unit, turn my unit back on, and it automatically will suck in the new, uh, the new program, which is absolutely awesome. Um, it's a great, great benefit to be able to upgrade the unit, get the newest, latest, greatest software, and uh, be able to use it. Uh, the structure scan here, one of the things that's really cool about this, and I'm going to change pages here so I can show you something else. Uh, guys as you go if I go to just structure now I'm looking at just structure I'm looking at what's down uh, one of the cool things about it is and it's not as applicable to lakes although it is applicable it's really applicable to the ocean I can move my cursor when I see something that's in there like this looks like a little dip or ravine or something and I can move my cursor over it I can zoom in and now it moves to the center of the screen and I can